All right. How are we doing? Yes. That's what we want to hear. Okay. Uh, so my name is Jonathan. I'm a member of the PureGhost team, and uh, I've got five minutes to talk to you about PureGhost, uh, tell you what it is, its features, and how we're using IPFS to make the dream come true. So yeah, five minutes, one chance. All right, let's go. So what is PureGhost? PureGhost is uh, it's an end-to-end -end encrypted peer-to-peer -peer file storage sharing and communication network. And we have some very particular things that we want from this network. So in particular, uh, we want it to be resilient. So what do I mean by that? I mean that it should be generally very difficult to disrupt or surveil. Uh, we also want it to be independent. So we don't want to have to rely on uh, any centralized trust architecture, such as TLS, uh, CAs, or the domain name system. We also want it to be super secure. So we want our users to be able to share files with each other and communicate with each other uh, without any metadata being generated. And finally, we want it to be self-hostable. Uh, anyone should be able to download a binary or uh, clone the code uh, and assemble it, stick it on a machine, and then get their own social network and communications, uh, communications platform happening as well. So uh, why should you care about this? With all the alternatives that are out there that can do things kind of like this, why should you care about PureGhost? Well, uh, number one, security. Uh, so we offer safe login, uh, strong crypto. In fact, if you're just using it for file storage, we're post-quantum resistant. Uh, we hide all the metadata, so you can't see things like file size or directory structure. Uh, and again, we're free of uh, any centralized trust architecture as well. So we also give you control. So as I mentioned, we want it to be self-hostable, and we let you do that. Uh, we also allow you to have very, very fine control over uh, who sees what when you share. Uh, we hide all your contacts, so no other users, and certainly our PureGhost server can't see who your, uh, who your contacts are and what you're doing. And we allow you to remain pseudonymous. So by that, I mean we don't need a phone number or an email address in order for you to sign up and use our app. Uh, we really want PureGhost to be convenient. It should be, in our minds, it should be as convenient as Dropbox or Facebook. Uh, so we have a, a web interface. Uh, we allow you to log in from any device. We allow file syncing and, of course, publishing. So even within the network and to people outside of the network as well. So we provide you with the ability to uh, create public links too. So um, the organizers were very explicit that we shouldn't do a live demo. Uh, so instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flash up the URL to the alpha. So please either write it down, take a photo, point your browser at it now, and please try it out for yourself. I'll leave that up there for like five more seconds. And let's go. OK, so uh, what has IPFS got to do with all of this? Well, IPFS is really the backbone of PeerGhost. So we're using uh, IPFS to store and, and share our encrypted content. So uh, IPFS is really a logical choice for this because we get availability, because it's distributed. Uh, we get it, we, the, the distribution also implies resiliency and control, and that's just all part of the package. And the fact that it's decentralized means that there's no DNS, there's no centralized authority or single point of attack that a malicious actor could go after either. So this really just fits the bill very nicely for us. So what does PeerGhost actually do? Well, PeerGhost is just an encryption and access control layer built on top of IPFS. So we have the PeerGhost client, which talks to the PeerGhost server. The PeerGhost server really just manages follow requests and uh, mutable pointers to the client's data. Uh, we're using IPFS. It's a, you know, if you don't know by now, it's a content to risk file store. So that gives us hashes to the data. Uh, we're using our own equivalent of IPNS uh, uh, to point public keys to those hashes. And of course, our PKI server uh, ma manages all our public keys uh, for our users. And in fact, that, that, that's an IPFS as well. So uh, how does your data actually get into there? So what the client does is the client will take a raw file, uh, chunk that up into uh, five meg megabyte chunks. We encrypt all of those independently. They're then uh, split up into fragments, up to 40 fragments of 120 kilobyte, uh, kilobytes each. And that is what gets uploaded to IPFS along with encrypted metadata and, and the fragmented hashes as well. So I hope you find that interesting. Uh, and uh, if you are interested, by all means, please sign up to the alpha, try it out, come talk to us, tell us what you like, tell us what you don't like, tell, ask us how it works, you know, crib whatever you want from it. Um, you know, thing, these things get better when people complain and talk, so that's really what we want. Uh, you can check out our GitHub repo, you can check out our book. We're on Twitter, uh, we're on Reddit as well. Uh, PureGhost is made with love, uh, an effort, and a healthy distrust of the alternatives that are out there, and a desire to make a real alternative. Uh, so, you know, please, please, please check us out. Come tell us what you think. Uh, and I think I've got 10 seconds left. So, with that, thank you very much.